will know what I am going to be talking about tonight. So, that is easy money and jack your issue, right? And uh, big up to Lennox Good Look Records, got it tuned in. Queens, New York, big up yourself, right? And jack your issue. Okay. Just spinning the title, people, for all those that are going to join. Uh huh. So, what's going on? Uvo Lily, come to the front, please, to pin this for me. Big up to everybody. So, what's going on tonight? Um, I'm just waiting for Easy Money to join in that for me. Anyway, so people, um, for those that have been following my blog stories and my Instagram and social media posts, um, recently, hip hop entertainer slash R&B slash reggae dancehall artist by the name of Easy Money um, released some voice notes of reggae entertainer Jacure in which Jacure has been sending him some very, very outspoken, you know, WhatsApp voice notes. And what and what is it over? It is over um, money that Easy Money paid to reggae entertainer Jacquier for a song collaboration back in 2016 up until now. And um, the artist, Easy Money has not received the song from Jacquier, nor has he heard too much from him. And when Easy Money and his um, family members and staff members contacted uh, Jacquier, okay, um, he had he he received a bag of voice notes i'm waiting for easy money to join my instagram live um just give him a couple minutes um so he can go it says waiting for easy money to join okay so in the meantime i'll wait and see right big up to easy money on the live he's um he's here but okay i'm waiting for him to join the live so people so instead of jack Cure, giving him giving easy money the song or saying something to him he sent him over 50 voice notes okay in which he was very very vulgar in these voice notes um and he disrespected easy money imagine um artist to artist that's not a good look um on the side of jack Cure at all you understand so i don't think it's a good look you guys that's on my life can comment okay while easy money try to log on send request i said send request i am sending the request waiting for easy money and here What's he up? is hello how's it going how's it going how you doing good 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 i almost good. Like, got nervous <laughs> oh you got nervous why because the my phone kept saying waiting waiting for you to join so i said okay yeah. maybe it's some wi-fi problem no 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 so right. how's so it going from, how's everything good good i'm trying to stay warm you know we're in this freezing cold in new york city here but uh-huh yes yes understand? new york new york very very cold very cold snow every day every day right snow so um so since you're on my life for those just joining my live is only for one hour so it's gonna end um 9 p.m on the dot but easy money is okay. here and he's gonna be you know introducing himself to you guys and then jump into the mix of the hot topic for tonight go ahead yes yes so my name is easy money um i'm a rapper singer producer songwriter um label manager I do a lot of things. Just put it like that. I do. I do pretty much everything that a label could do for an artist. That's what I do too. I do 
all my marketing myself. I do pretty much everything. So yeah, that's a little background on me and what I do musically and you know for the industry. I write for other artists as well. So right. So you know, tell yeah. us like how long have you been an artist? I've been an artist since the age of I say sixteen. Sixteen, I would say, is when I first like really start getting to my music, but I start like sing at 12 years old. At 12 is when I started to sing music. Mm -hmm. And then 16 is when I started to write music and like rap mm -hmm. and stuff and kind of mix in my rap music. I can and, hardly you know, hear you. You can't hear me? No? No, I can hardly hear you. Oh, I don't know why. Hold on. It's okay, why. but go ahead. I can hardly hear him. Yeah, so at 12 is when I started to sing, and 16 is when I started to write music. And then I started um, recording, I think, around, yeah, 16. No, 14 is when I recorded my first record. 14 years right. old is awesome. when I recorded my first official record in the studio. Yeah. They said they could hear me good. <laughs> Right. I think it's they my phone. Somebody me. was yeah. calling me yeah. and we declined them call, but it's okay. Um, okay. All right, so let us jump into the thing now. So you went to Jamaica, right? Yeah. And you met you met Jacure. So tell mm -hmm. us about that part. Um. Well, meeting Jacure, like upon meeting him, I met him through like a mutual person, through like a fan, somebody that was a fan of his music and my music as well. And that's, they gave me the link to, to him. So the link to him was his road manager at the time. It was Frost Twins. And then Frost Twins linked me with Jack Yore. So um, from there, I basically went to Kingston in Jamaica. And then um, we met at the studio. And it was around, I say, maybe two, 2 in the morning. We met in the studio like 2 in the morning. So that okay. was the first um, initial meeting meet and greet between me and, and Jack Yore. That's where you see the picture with me wearing the white t-shirt and him wearing the like the blue jean thing. That's where that picture, that was at Andrew Block studio in Kingston. And um, Tommy Lee was also in the studio as well with us the same same night when we were there, when I first met him. Right. So how was the vibe between you and, I mean, how was the vibe, you know, between you and him before you left Jamaica? Um, the vibes, it was good. It was good vibes. The first thing that Cure said to me and my father when we first first met, he said it was an honor. You know what I'm saying? He used those words like like a real roster would. You know what I'm saying? He said it was an honor to meet us. Right. So, you know, you, you see the outcome now from my honor being to, to from now, from almost five years, because this summer, this July is going to be five years since. Wow, five like, years! Since we started. Huh? Wow. Yeah, five years. So five years. Within the five years, did you guys communicate about the song and stuff like that? Yeah, I have it, I have it in the voice notes with him, like even asking me to send like the beat and what type of song I want to do. If I want to do like a gal song, or you know what I'm saying, or you know, he he was like you know, going back and forth with me on what type of song and what record we were going to do. But then that just kind of changed. He just, he just like stopped being responsive towards me in the WhatsApp. So after him just not talking to me for like a while, like I started hitting him on Instagram because Instagram was the easiest, the other easiest way for me to contact him. So a lot of people know that like they hit him up on Instagram and he will hit you back. You know what I'm saying? On, on IG. So I hit him up on Instagram, right. and then I think he had changed his number. So then I got the new number. He sent me back the new number, and then me and him start talk again in on WhatsApp about the song. But it, it, the reason why I prolonged, because the first two years, from 2016 to 2018, um, he was basically saying that VP Records was holding the clearance, so the song could not get cleared, if, even if we did the song. So he said I had to wait a little bit. So I said, okay, I could wait a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm not putting out the album right now. So I gave him the opportunity to like, you know, I mean, two years is a long time to even give somebody, right? To do a exactly. song, right? Okay, so yeah. two years went by, still no song, still nothing. We're not hearing nothing from him. 
It just kind of went you, like MIA. And within the two years, did you pay him the full money by then or? No, yeah. no, he didn't get the full payment like right then. He got like, he got 1500 when we we're in Jamaica. And then he got the rest right. like over the years. Like, you know what I'm saying? Because we, we, we sent him one more payment. We sent him maybe two more payments before that. And then you see like a last $700 payment. That was the last payment that he got. That was the full, like to, like the full payment. But the only reason now he got that payment is because he called me basically telling me, yo, let's get the song done. It's t my time now. Right. That's what, that's the words he, you know, he used. He said, it's my time now. So I said, all right. I called my father. And, you know, one day if you, if you ever meet my dad, he'll tell you, you know, I call him and I basically beg him. To, like let's get the money and let's do it he didn't really want to send that money at first he didn't want to send that money because he didn't do nothing for how much years but me being a person that is inspired by cure's career and everything that he's you know that he's done musically i'm not talking about outside of the music but just the music part of things you know right. what i'm saying like that's that's the stuff that that's the reason i wanted to work with him because i love his music so I wanted to work with him because of that. I, I felt like me and him could make a, a record that would be like a hit. Just like the song that I just dropped, I felt like we could have did something like that. We could have did anything. True. You know what I'm saying? It would have it would have been a hit. It would have been a hit regardless, you know? But he kind of, he made it get get this far. It's not something that, that anybody wanted. Like, I didn't want this to happen. You know what I'm saying? For for right. everybody. Well, you had no choice in. because it's been over um you said five years, no response on his end. No response. And to me, to me that is that is very, very unprofessional. See, and to go back to go back to you what you what were you saying said? about he was given the excuse of um the record company. Mm. Um yes. you know. Maybe he was lying, but who knows? Because remember, he has a no, past history. He was lying. He, he, was lying. You understand? he was lying now. Right. He was lying. I, I definitely know he was lying, but like you got to see from an artist's perspective, from being an artist, you know what I'm saying? Like you, you're not going to think that, <laughs> that that Cure is going to do something like that. Even though people telling me, it's like I even had to learn the hard way, right? So I learned the hard way. We lose the bread. We get no song. The only thing we get out of this right now is the attention of the people right now. That's that's the only thing that we got. And that was the last resort for me was to put out the voice notes them and, and nice. just put them on blast. And he told me to take it to the media. So that's what I did. I, I took it straight to the media. I took it to social media and I let everybody see what's going on and let everybody hear what's going on so they could understand that, yeah, he has a great voice. Everybody knows that. But as a person, he's not a good person. He's not a good right. person, and that's just a fact. If he yeah. was a good person, he would have run back that money. But where's the money? The money's True. still not exactly. here. And how much year gone by? No money. So. Well, you know something. Yeah. Um, I just want to big up to everybody commenting because I'm, yeah, I'm listening to you and I'm reading the comments, <laughs> and the yeah, comments got like a are very, people. very like yeah. <laughs> people coming in, they they viewing. So, from my perspective. And my dad's perspective, we just didn't think that any of this would, would transpire to what it is right now. Right. And we here now is not to bash him. We're not trying to bash him. That's the thing. Right. We we're we're of, not here to bash him. We're just here. We're, here to bash we're him. just here to highlight the fact to that what he did facts. was wrong and he needs to step up, um, either exactly. give you back the money, do the song. But he needs no, he to can't be do the song. Like a reggae, no, like a real... he can't do the song. He can't do the song with me. I'm not doing no song with him. I don't want no song. That, that's right. done. You that don't want the song. So what do you want ago. from him? I want the money and I want a public apology. I'm just being honest because right. at the end of the day, this it's an embarrassment for everybody. It's not just an embarrassment <laughs> for him. It's an embarrassment for everybody. I spend my money and lose my money and he broke because he can't pay back the money that I spend. So right. it's an embarrassment for everybody. <laughs> we all lose right now. Right now, we're all losing, right? He's supposed to be a bigger artist, and he's supposed to want to bring young artists to a certain level and create new generation of music. That's, that's what I wanted to do. Right. I came there to, to, to work. 
I come to Jamaica to bury my uncle, right? And then in the midst of that, I was working too because I'm an artist as well. So I was getting little performances and then I ended up running to Cure when I was in Jamaica. It was nothing planned. It's just because I was there at the time and I already had the link for him. And then we end up just go there and link him at the studio. That's how everything right, started. Okay. So do you, do, do you regret meeting him in Jamaica then? No, I don't regret it. I don't regret it because at the end of the day, you have artists like him that's been living and eating and doing, they winning for years. For years, they winning, right? right? And you have an artist like me. Look how much talent I have. I know I have talent. People, every, people tell me that every day. You have talent. You have this. You, you have this. You can rap. You can sing. You can produce. You can manage. You can do all of this. I do everything. Yeah. Everything you see on social media. You see all these people in here. Some of them. Yeah. It's, it's my team. Like they were running up all day. So Cure, Cure actually have a problem when it comes to this team. Because when it comes to this team, we move militant. Even right. on the net, we move militant. Outside in the streets, we move militant. The net, we exactly. move militant. You can't hide. You can't run from it. You can't run from right. this. You know what I'm saying? And so regardless do you of the think, fact, he's going to see me. He's going to see me. He's going to see me. Do you feel that he underestimated you? Oh, underestimate? He underestimate, he overestimate, he, he over the corner estimate, he under the rug estimate, under the table estimate, <laughs> and all type of underestimating. When it comes to underestimating, right. when it comes to the music, when it comes to music, Cure can't see me in music. He have a lot of hits, but most of the hits he have, he never write them. I write every song. Every song that you go, if you go and see my catalog, I write every song. Nobody write for me. I've been writing since I'm 16 years old. Nobody can't write for me. So we see that song. You know how long it took me to write that song? It took me five minutes to write that song. I didn't even look for our next beat. That's how furious I was. Because when I made that song, I picked one beat. The first beat I hear, right. that was the first beat. That was the first beat that I hear. And then I went off right there. And that was it. Because I said, I'm going to rip his head off with this one record. Because he's not going to be able to answer to this song. Because this song right here is right. going to embarrass him. So but that's I'm what I did. I just did. You know, I did what I had to do. I am wondering, maybe he feels embarrassed. That's why he hasn't um, come on and no. said back anything to you. Because I don't understand nah, how how can why why wouldn't an artist like him of his caliber why wouldn't he want to come and clear his name? You understand? Because clearing his name is only going to put an artist like me that's up and coming to the top. <laughs> he come now and he come on this live. This live jumped to five, 6,000 right now. Only because of the right, fact true. of the controversy. Um, the the somebody controversy. said Jamaica, Jamaica trending now said he has nothing to say. Okay. <laughs> he don't have nothing to say. He can't, he can't answer to that song. Like, what are you gonna, what are you gonna say to that song? What song could he drop right now that gonna beat that song right now? The energy on that right. record right here and with the way the DJ's about to run with it, he can't stop it. There's nothing, it can't be stopped. He can't stop it. Is that, is that the new song, is. That's the, um, the coronavirus song? Yeah, cure, cure coronavirus. Like cure, Jack cure, but oh, cure, cure coronavirus. <laughs> So it's the cure on the virus. You know what I'm yeah, it's spreading. It's spreading everywhere. It's viral right now. <laughs> so right. I'm blessed. Um, I, I, checked, I get a hit to me. And I'm blessed. I checked, I checked on your page today and I saw you uploaded another voice note from him stating that yeah. he's going to sue you. What is this? <laughs> <laughs> Who be? <laughs> that's money? what the voice note. That's what Wait. the voice note that you uploaded to your page me? today said. He said he's gonna sue Listen. you, and, and I'm like, if no, no, can't no, no. Pay, Something must does be. Does that make sense? To you? Men does that make sense? How you gonna huh? sue a person and spend money to sue a person and you can't pay the person back and you owe the money? You know what he's gonna do? He's gonna use your money. You send him and sue you. <laughs> yeah, he said he's say gonna sue me, and then I'm gonna have to spend more money to to get myself out of it. No, because I was like, maybe man, something, like, maybe something is mentally wrong with him because it doesn't. I don't understand that voice note that he sent to you, that he's gonna sue you when you are the one with all the receipts on social media, 
and all Care over the so place. Much. You understand? And the comments that I, I have been getting um from my Facebook posts and the YouTube comments, them everybody is like upset with him. Mm. So yeah, everybody I upset. feel everybody. I feel as if this situation with Jack Cure is like um is in your favor right now. Yo, big up, big ups to everybody in the in the chat right now, in the live chat right now. Thank you guys, man. I appreciate y'all, man. And for all the support that we're yeah. getting right now, thank you. It's very appreciated. And um just keep spreading the word and letting everybody know what's going on because I really do want to get this story out because I feel like this is something that shouldn't happen again to any independent artist coming up because because of cure. A lot of the music that you guys would have got, y'all didn't get it yet because of Cure. Because my project get held back because we already put that payment down. And we trying to see if that song was going to get cleared for the album. Because I have Junior Reed on my album. I have Javelani on my album. And I have um, PG Valentina and Too Real. Too Real, he signed to me. And PG Valentina is another artist coming up out of um, New York. And she do reggae and dance all. But I have some other big names on the album we have more guest surprises coming on the album so because of cure this album probably would have been out from two years i pushed the album right. back because of him so the album not coming out till this summer now so oh, this summer we're not put yeah this summer it dropped it's gonna drop this summer for sure right for big sure. up to one god junior reed listen to me from me have junior reed from the album hey you want to hear don't worry something about Listen, let me give you an exclusive. Let me play the people an exclusive of, of the Junior Reed. Cause just because I'm feeling good right now, I'm feeling I'm feeling real good right now. And I'm seeing a lot of love. Yeah, I'm seeing a lot of love. So I want to play them. Yeah, something. big up to everyone on the live. Big big ups. I'm gonna play y'all something so y'all can hear a little snippet of the song with me and Junior Reed. I'm gonna just play y'all like 20 seconds. You know what I'm saying? Of the okay. song. Just the intro, just the Yeah, not too much because this is going on YouTube. Hey, hey the introduction. The introduction is legendary Junior Reed. We we got here. We got Junior Reed from from when he worked with the game in New York. We talking about the game. Um, no, the game from LA. When he did a song with the game, is that type of you know oh, heavy that type things. of beat? It's heavy. it's heavy. It's heavy. You know what I'm saying? It's very heavy. We'll play for y'all. Listen to this, y'all. Junior Reed, I easy money. Uh, easy money. I got a <laughs> Listen, this album, when it drop, the world going to stop. Because when it drop, it's serious. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's, it's changing the game. It's building and, and, put, and, and putting the bridges together from New York all the way to Jamaica. It's an international type of record. Right. And so this whole album is for the world. It's not for me. I made it for the world. You know what I'm saying? To speak right. for, for the young youth coming up that's up and coming, that want to be inspired, that want to be motivated, that's trying to get somewhere. You know what I'm saying? Because when I started doing music, I started at an age that maybe I should have been in the playground, but I was in the studio from 12. I meet Shaba Ranks at 14 years old. I meet Shaba Ranks in the studio. Oh, wow. He walked into my studio session in Brooklyn at Ed Robinson Studio in Brooklyn. I've been around legend all my life. So Cure just, it's, you know why Cure didn't know this? Because Cure never took the chance to talk to me. He never talked to me. From the time right. I gave him the money, he never had a, hold a real conversation with me. Like, like he trying to inspire me or teach me something. It's just a person that just wanted my money to see me as a, a, as a ticket, basically. So it's cool because, you know, we get burned sometimes, but we come back stronger. You know right, exactly. and you just and you just have to take it as a lesson in life and just move on to greater things because you you're doing great things right now and you are yeah. the hot topic, not really Jack Curie, you know, but you um all eyes are on easy money, you understand? And everybody yeah, are gonna Jack Cure. <laughs> you understand? <laughs>
Listen, man, don't but don't butt him too much, man. Take it easy on him, but 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 let him know. You know what I'm saying? What's to come? You know what I'm saying? It's the new generation. It's the a comments, new wave. The comments. Yeah, the <laughs> comments going up. Yeah, yeah. T Money SG, Kenny the Don SG, Two Real Sleep, Two Fly SG, Jason Wagwan. Everybody, Slugs, Too Tough. Big up yourself, Slugs. Yo, me and Slugs have an interview dropping UK coming soon too. Also, big up yourself. Hey. Well gone, Mohini. Mohini. That's Mohini. That's that's my, my co-worker. I used to work with her at the oh, airport. Okay. <laughs> yeah. God bless, man. I appreciate everybody showing a lot of love, man. I appreciate y'all, man. Like the support is real. So and some, I'm some people, a lot of good comments. some people were commenting, um, not on this live, but commenting on my blog post and you know, YouTube. Yeah. They were saying, like, didn't you know about, you know. Stuff that happened with Jack mm -hmm. in the past, like um... no, that's the thing. Like the, the things that I'm hearing right now, and I had so many different people like that get scammed, or like even like some things I can't even really speak on. You know what I'm saying? Like right. <laughs> some things I I wouldn't even tell y'all because they they tell me they personal business, and I rather keep it private. You know what I'm saying? But right. The the things that I heard. I, that's why I said I don't want to do no record with him. It, it, me at because, this point, me and him can't do a record. We can't do a record. Together. Right. Not in my catalog. Because you know, you know, as everybody knows out there, Jacure has been in the media spotlight negative for the past couple years or months now. And um, yeah, you understand? Yeah, I seen. I seen but a lot of know, different things coming up. We don't know up. what is going on. You, you could hear me fine, right? Oh, okay. Yeah, I hear you great. But we don't know. But as I as I said before, well, I want to apologize to you because you know I am a media of reggae and dancehall music, and I don't like what the situation happened between you and him. But you know something that was him. It doesn't mean um every listen, you know, Empress, reggae dancehall. I don't want you to apologize for that fool. Don't ap don't apologize for that fool. Right. You know what I'm saying? You. Don't apologize for him because at the end of the day, he's older than me. <laughs> this is a grown ass <laughs> man we're talking about. We're not talking about right. a little kid or True. somebody in his twenties like me. I'm in my twenties. Like he's older than me. <laughs> so he's supposed right. to know common sense. He's supposed to know. Common sense, right? But guess what? Well, if he doesn't know, now he knows, and now the whole entire world knows. Don't mess with easy money. That is it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, because because he came for the wrong family. He came for my father. He come for my mother. Two people you, you just can't come for. You can't come, especially in this music shit. If you're an artist and you really try to come at me, like you really, you gotta come hard. You better come right. hard because when I come at you, I'm coming with everything. I'm coming with everything, and I barely, I'm not a person. That that won a war with people, but he just he woke up the beast. When he wake up the beast or the lion, that's it. He's just gonna chop off your head, and that's that's right. what I had to <laughs> do. I had to, I had to display him on on his own platform, on his stage, so people could see. Okay, this is a fucked up individual, in in um in a personal way and in a business way. Right. You know what I'm saying it's just a fucked up person that shouldn't be in the position that he in. But you have artists like me starving for years. I'm starving. I'm working at the airport. I, I'm picking up bags <laughs> to make a living. Yeah. I had a regular job. I don't shame nobody for acts for money or, or, you know what I'm saying, or for their hustle. I don't shame nobody for that because I work a regular job myself for years before I leave my job. I work for three years straight at right. the airport and work with all type of people and talk to all type of people. I meet all type of celebrity. I meet Junior Reed in the airport. That's where I met Junior Reed in the airport. I mean, most of my connection them, I met them in, in the, the airport. airport. Oh, okay. I meet every fucking artist in the airport. Every <laughs> artist in the airport. Right. Over and they, they, bring they, right, right. Yeah. I meet so but much in different the airport, artists. That's where you met. Yeah. Okay, so that's where you met most of them. Okay. That's not bad. Yeah, that's where I met most of them. And and the people that I work with back in those days, they 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 know I was talented, so they always used to cover for me. So I used to go and run off and go network with the artists them in the airport. And I used to exchange my info. And I always tell everybody at the airport, I'm going to leave this fucking airport soon, bro. Believe it. I'm working. The whole time I'm in the airport, I leave the airport, I'm in the studio. I'm working. 
because I already knew right. my plan. My plan was to just create my album and just have enough money to like. So Cure taking money from people. He don't even understand. Like I'm working ten hours, bro. I'm working ten hours right. on my feet for, for this money. My father worked hours to, to get money. It's not easy to come by with money. It's not even about the money. It just come down to the principle. Because it's not about the money. The money, we only use it to get to one destination. But the real right. idea is here. It's in my head. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I just, I have the idea, but not everybody have the money to spend. So you give a nigga three grand, that's a lot of fucking money for me to just right. give up yeah. and give you. That's fucking rent, bro. It's fucking fifteen hundred, twenty five hundred dollars for, himself, for one room. But he himself, in one of your voice notes, said, "Oh, three thousand dollars is nothing. Like he all uh, he normally charged bigger, you know, like more money than that." But I was like to myself, I said, "Well, if three thousand dollars is nothing to you, Jack, why not give it back to the young man, right? Nothing." I don't know. I I can't even I can't even fathom it. Like to see somebody like of his caliber that's supposed to be a regular legend. Like this is supposed to be a regular right. legend. You really a regular legend, bro? If you don't live by no morals or principle, you can't be a regular legend because Bob Marley lived by morals and principles. Yes. All right. Like these are the the, the people. You you know the people that my dad you know my dad know um I don't know if you know Ansel. But he he's he's the guy that sing on um, "Woman Is Like a Shadow," Ansel. His name is Ansel. Oh, okay. The meditations, the meditations. You know about the meditations? Right, right, yeah. You know about them. yeah. So yeah. these are the people that I've been around all my life, like, and I've seen them in the studios, like Ed Robinson. These are respectable people, respectable musician. Yes, respectable, yeah. <laughs> you know, like, so I've seen a respectable Rasta or a res respectable Roots artist or Roots person. And Cure is just, he all about the, the luxury, the lifestyle. And the money the and the hype. And he don't have no money. But he don't have no money, though, because he can't pay me back. All now, he can't pay me back. It's going five years, he can't pay me back. You know? So. Well, you know something... It's a downfall it's for him, but it's a it's an uprise for you because you have your new album coming out this summer, and um, yeah. you're in the spotlight right now. You know, as an upcoming entertainer in the business, and sometimes I feel as if these big name entertainers, um, their fame and their fortune and their title gets to their head, mm. and they forget about when they first started in the music. I believe so. You know. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Maybe yeah, he yeah. forgot where he started from, just like you know. Maybe he forgot. Who knows? Honestly, I I don't I don't know. I don't know. I don't know where he where he's from. <laughs> right now, like right now, I don't I even want, know what he's thinking. I want I want um somebody to reach out to Jack Cure and sit down and talk to him and really figure out where his mindset is because this went live. This went like social media crazy, hey. and I'm like, look at I this. Went, listen, I, I went in the green store, right? And when I say the green store, the green juice store today to get a green juice because I, I juice a lot. I drink a lot of, you know, right. the juice, and I get the dirt, drink them, and I drink them to flush my system. So I walk in the store, and the first thing, <laughs> yo, I see you everywhere beefing with Jack <laughs> You see? I listen to the song, and the song, my where you get that song from? <laughs> I say, yo, I made that song in five minutes, bro. Everywhere I go, you see that? people telling me they, they hear what's going on and they see what's going on. So it's just, a, it's amazing to see, like, like if I walk out the side now, people coming up to me and people saying something to me like, yo, I see you on the net everywhere. People right. calling my father, yo, I can't stop listening to the song. This fucking song is everywhere. Yo, Easy is everywhere. I go on the net, he's everywhere. He on YouTube, he's on Facebook, he's on Instagram, the man everywhere. So I'm getting a lot of love, man. And to it's me, a it's good just feeling, like, right? It's a good feeling, right? I mean, to be working for, <laughs> this is like my 10th year work. 
like my 10th year working since I started my, my business. I started my label right. name and like 10 years ago. So this year is going to be 10 hard, like from 12, 14, <laughs> forever, since forever. So I'm, I'm just, and the DJs are coming in and, you know, asking me for my songs because I got some great records. Like I'm not coming with the regular thing. Listen, I want to play one more because I got to let them hear my voice. This is on a project that's out right now. It's called Reggae Vibes right. and Summer Nights. It's out right now. So if anybody want to get it, they could get it right now. And I did a Justin Bieber like type of thing. I did all just, uh, one of just his songs. Just a little like, sample because this is going on YouTube, sample. this video. Listen, just a sample. They're going to love this. Listen to it. <laughs> Whoever said you weren't beautiful, they lied. Baby, yes, the jealous inside. Got enough is enough. Oh, okay. Tell me who plays with the bad man, what I say. Got enough is enough. Jacquard not seeing me. When Jacquard can make some music like this, then and, and he stopped smoke all of the weed and you know and his voice kind of clear up a little bit better then you know <laughs> then we could talk but for right, right. now you know what i'm saying I'm, I'm on another level i'm on a whole nother level we're talking chris brown michael jackson level jack here can't reach that right level. exactly you know what i'm saying and it's cool his music is great it's legendary but <laughs> this is different <laughs> it's a different type of thing you know what i'm saying this is a whole nother level music because i'm doing rap i'm doing r&b i'm coming in reggae I, I got i got a project out right now with sizzler and jacure that's out right now reggae sax rhythm it's all over youtube i have a million i have over a million views right now yeah yeah and jacure is on the project i'm on the project and sizzler's on the project luther yeah. fire is on the project charlie clips from wilding out is on the project so i've been yeah, out some since big name entertainers on that project big entertainers I've been making waves, you know, but this is my, this is my break, break, right? So I came up with the hit song. Corona. <laughs> Can't fuck with them scammer boy, dude. This is this what they want to hear. This what they want to hear. Don't work with no scammer. Man, I work with the hammer. Man, I cause no drama. That's your hit song right there. I don't want no problem. Man, I be used to be like. Try to give them a little vibes. I see them. You're not causing no drama. <laughs> hey, I'm not trying to cause no drama at all. Man, I roll with the armor, yeah? <laughs> That's it. That's it. <laughs> Yo, you're already causing drama already you. all over social media. But I guess I wrote a hit, um, I wrote a hit five minutes. Kerry, you don't even understand how much I appreciate you. Like, for even you contacting me and reaching out and say you want to break the story as well, I appreciate that. Like, for your support, you know what I'm saying? And especially you as a woman, because I have a mom, as you know, and I love to empower women. So I'm just happy to be on this live with you to give you the opportunity as well to interview me because I don't know where I'm going to be five years or maybe a year from now. I might be the next biggest artist. I of don't know. Of course. Uh, that's what and I, I hope you I remember hope. Carrie and Brown and Vivian. Yes. Of course. I got you. I, would, I won't forget. We, we trust me. Even at that, at that height, I'll still do a next interview with you and it'll be a, on, on another level. On another right. level. Well, I thank you for beginning. appreciating, you know, me and Viviana. And on, on um, from my point of view, you seem like a very down-to-earth, humble, very, very conscious youth. You understand? Yes. Yeah. So, so you're going very to reach for some of the comments. Somebody said for you to, to add who cut your ranks to your album. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I listen, I got another big feature that's gonna be on the album. I'm gonna save it for towards the summer. I'm gonna announce that. Yeah, you guys will see when I put up the official, you know what I'm saying, track listing, and you will see all of the artists that's gonna be on it. But I'm pretty sure right. I'm gonna get to work with like a lot more artists before the album drop also. And um I'm definitely gonna be in Jamaica. So whoever's on this live that's in Jamaica, 
I will definitely be in Jamaica this summer. So you're going to get to, if you might come and see me, you know what I'm saying, somewhere at a meet and greet, but I'll definitely be on the island. All right? Because I'll be there promoting. Well, I hope, I hope full, your first full. meet and greet is going to be here in New York first, you know? Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to do the, the promo run in, in New York before I even touch Jamaica. Then I'm going to be in Jamaica. Right. Just doing straight media when I'm out there. And just work with some producer, try to get on some of them big rhythm that's, that they're dropping and stuff, you know? So, and right. all all producers that want to work with me, we're still giving, like, producers opportunities to, like, to get on the project and work with me and build up some records. So, you can email okay. me, just hit me in my bio and email me. Or, and, you know, the next thing I also wanted to announce is that if we get that three grand back, I'm donating that money. That money going to get donated to an artist in Jamaica. Any upcoming artist in Jamaica, I'm going to be donating that that three thousand dollar to to the studio for their music career to up. You know what I'm saying to to get them started. So when that money right. come back, that, that's, that's a good I'm thing. If if you get it back, even if I don't get it back, I'm still going to get a, a U in Jamaica that I'm going to sign. So I'm definitely going to go to the island. I'm going to sign sign an artist that I'm going to work with. And build up myself. Oh, out there. okay, that's good. So you're gonna you're gonna still move for move onward and upward. Good. Again, mm -hmm. and I got I got um like I got other artists, you know, like a lot of artists. But we just signed this 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 artist, this female artist from Germany. Her name is Leanne, and she signed to my business partners and my bros, um, Taibu Productions and um, my boy L. So you know. We got like a lot coming. We got a lot of artists. So it's like a she's whole bunch of, so it's a whole bunch of yeah. artists you have. Yeah. Okay, that's from it. Yes. <laughs> yeah. We got a whole label of just artists. So easy money, easy artists money, coming. and if the whole team is coming, right? Yeah, we coming. Coming straight from Brooklyn, Long Island, everywhere. We oh, everywhere. Long Island, right. Queens, Brooklyn, Staten Island, <laughs> Harlem, wherever you want to call it. Bronx. The whole there. five, the whole tri state of New York City, right? Yeah, yeah. And we're just trying are. to get the people to know that we we're just gonna keep putting out good music. We're gonna keep the vibes going. Um, thank you for everybody supporting me. Keep supporting, keep sharing, liking, you know, share my page, let everybody else, you know, get to know me. So share my yeah. page and let other people know what's going on. And listen, it's gonna be a great summer. I know the corona kind of stopped a lot of things, but we're gonna keep yeah. keep it going. We're gonna keep the flame burning this summer. We're gonna keep we have a lot of hot stuff coming this summer. A lot. So be prepared and stay tuned. Right. Um and big anything, up Marlando, I see you guys. anything else? the 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 Corona virus song is not released on YouTube as yet, right? Oh no, it's on YouTube. They can search it. They it's can click YouTube? the link in my okay. bio. Yeah, you click the link in my bio and it'll take you to the first link from um, one of the DJs that had posted it up when it first oh, dropped okay. and stuff. But it's out everywhere, all streaming platforms. It's on Apple Music. It's on Spotify. It's on Tidal. It's on Instagram, too. So even if you want to go on Instagram and do a reel or you want to do like a story video, you can type and find right. coronavirus. You can type in Easy Money, E-A-Z-I-M-O-N-E-Y. And then... um pretty much you see like all my music pop up everything that i've done so will pop up right. or you can just type my but you name know Google. when i first heard about your story um the first thing mm -hmm. that i do is i try to get you know to to research the person or the you know or the individual and when i google your name i was very impressed i was like the first yeah. thing that came up was um the reggae sax rhythm and your song on that rhythm is yeah. um one, one night, night stand. stand, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. And then the list goes on. It says, "Oh, um, your songs are on YouTube, Spotify, uh, Pandora, Apple Music, iHeartRadio, on um, record labels, uh, Swoosh Entertainment, um, mm -hmm. Swoosh Entertainment Music Group, and SoundCloud." Yes. I was like, "What?" I'm, I was like, "Did um Jacqueline do his research on this artist because this artist." is established already you know what i'm no, saying he didn't do he did no research on me he did no research on me like i've been building my thing for a while if he had done research on you he would not have done what he did because i'm like exactly on. exactly it's listen let's hope let's hope he could come back from this to me my personal opinion he can't come back from this because 
I will never play his music again. And I know so many other people that's just not going to play his music. And I can't respect him as a man. For, for all the things that he said, I, I would never respect it. Would I forgive him? Yeah. Everybody deserves forgiveness. So I don't right. hold grudges on nobody. I wouldn't ever hold a grudge. But I never work with him. And it's just a learning experience for me as an artist and for, for my next business moves to always have contract and um contractual agreement. Even if I have voice notes, that's cool. But I got lucky with those voice notes. So if I was to bring it to court, yeah, I probably will win because of the voice notes. You know what I'm saying? But right. and the voice that's notes, not the way to go. Listen, and that's he cannot deny that because the voice notes are all over social media. Okay? Yeah. And once mm -hmm. and we all know that once something goes on social media, it cannot come off. Yeah, exactly. Okay? That's there so, forever. It's there forever. It's there forever. So it's there I'm forever. Thankful, man. I'm thankful. I'm thankful and I'm grateful and I'm here to stay. I'm not going nowhere. I got a lot of music coming and I just can't wait for the world to hear it and for everybody right. to enjoy what I got coming. So, and your beats you, and your and your type of flow is like um hip hop R and B with you know the little reggae dance. Uh, so you're versatile. You are a versatile mm -hmm. artist. Yeah. Yeah. So you I will have go far jobs, anywhere you want to go in music. You will go far. Further than reggae, yeah. further than dance. So you can go all over. I want so go to go to, to the moon. You know, that, that is a blessing I'm to trying... be a versatile artist. You know that? I, I know. I want to go to the moon. That's where I want to go next. Right. <laughs> yeah, so we, we so, want to yeah, say I... big up to Jack Yor. You understand? Mm -hmm. Wherever he is. Yeah, but, big him up uh, still. Bring big up, up to Easy Money, big up to you because you understand you're in the spotlight right now and the road is there for you to do whatever you want in music. Right. right? Yes. Thank you. Thank you very much. And um definitely um we'll get back on probably another live when um when the album getting ready to come out, we'll we'll do something else. We'll prepare something for the people. Yeah, we'll um, do like a, um, a special, I have a special about exclusive. Seven, about seven minutes left on this live before I come on. But um I just want to say thank you for, you know, sharing your story to everybody out there. I'm, I'm sure this is a lesson to a lot of people in music because I have heard so many stories, so many, like, sad stories yeah. about other people that have been, you understand, in the same situation that you have been. And it, it's a shame that dishonest people are around. It's a shame that greedy people yeah. on the, are on this earth. But... You take it as a life lesson and you just push forward with it. And you, Mr. Easy Money, your name and no one say it. Easy Money. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I know, I know. Nothing come easy, though. You know, nothing in life is easy the same way. You still got to work. Right, with you know hard, work, hard work and hard dedication. Work. But uh, your time, it's your time now. All those hard work in the airport and... Listen, I know the airport oh, job is not easy because I used to work at JFK. What? Trust me, please. What? Man, let me tell you, that job, I uh, mean, it, it humbled me because it really, like, even though I know I have all of this great talent, I know I have all of that in me, but it was, it humbled me to see people like, like at a job and clock in, you clock out, and then you see people on the air train because, you know, you take the air train if you want to travel through the terminals in JFK. And then you see yeah. people, I used to see people like I talk with, like falling asleep. And I'm like, damn, like, look at that person, man. Like, <laughs> look how hard they just, they, they working. Yeah. They working so hard and I'm here. I have so much talent and I'm here. You know what I'm saying? So I Ooh. always kept that in my mind and kept telling myself that when I was there, that I'm going to leave. I'm going to leave. I'm going to keep working and I'm, I'm going to get out of here. I'm going to leave this Right, airport. exactly. Because my bosses never liked me. My bosses didn't like me when I first came there. They, you know when they start like me? When they when they found out that I did music, they'd search my name because people in the airport start to talk and say, oh, you doing music, he right, does yeah. this. That's and then they start when... calling me easy money. Yeah, the, the boss start calling me easy money. When I what? started coming to work, he's saying, yo, easy money. I'm serious. He called me yeah. easy money. They didn't call me by my name. No more. They just call me easy money. Yo, well, Marlon, what's um, up? We're gonna Marlon we're gonna right cut there? this live short now and I'm gonna I'm gonna come back in five minutes. 
Okay, and um, all right. Well, well thank you for having me. Now, so I'll come back in ten yeah. minutes at nine p.m. so we can continue the conversation and read some of the comments. Somebody said, "How much money did you pay him?" Um, you paid him three thousand dollars, right? Three thousand U.S. Three thousand. Th it could be a little bit more right. because because we also sent money for like studio and stuff. Like if he was gonna go voice and stuff, but. He never voiced nothing. So it probably could be like maybe thirty two around thirty three hundred. But we we just put right. it at three grand because that was the, the price of the feature. You know what I'm saying? We're not even right. talking about the little extra money or anything. We're just talking about the money and that some, we paid. Somebody for the, says Jack Floor is disrespectful. Okay. Somebody else said real talk, bro. Respect is the key. And someone said talk mm -hmm. that S H I T Y N I G A. Yeah. <laughs> Is it Cali? Welcome to Cali. So, Pick up yourself. Thank you. So we're gonna cut the live. We're gonna cut the live. Um, cut the first part off right now and come back um around nine p.m. again and we're gonna continue on with the conversation with easy money. So um, all those on the live right now, come back at nine p.m. and we're gonna be all right. Doing God part bless. Two, okay. Yes. God bless right? you Respect. Big up to everybody. Come back at 9 p.m. Mm -hmm. for part two.